All right, Raptors fans, Kawhi Leonard returns to Toronto for the first time since bringing us the Larry O'Brien Trophy, the championship to not only Toronto, but the country of Canada, because the Raptors are the only team in basketball, in the NBA in this country. Sorry, I'm fumbling with my words. I'm just so excited for tonight's game. Apologize. Kawhi Leonard, Toronto, whoever's down there, get to that game early. Get in your seat. Stand up. Cheer this man. Give him standing ovations the entire time he's receiving that ring, watching that tribute video, and don't let nobody boo. I do not want to hear a single fucking person boo this man. He came here. He acted like a professional. There were so many rumors out there that he wanted to go home. He's close with his family. He's tight knit with his family. Some of them couldn't travel to Canada. They couldn't watch him on a nightly basis. He wanted to go home, be there. So be it. He's not here this year. Whatever. The Raptors are going to be all right. MLSC, you got to fucking resign Masai Ujiri. He has got to be locked up long term he is the best gm president whatever the fuck you want to give him the title as in professional sports in my opinion definitely in the nba i don't think there's anyone better than him that's why there's so many rumors a couple years ago washington the knicks this year now but nobody wants to go work with james dolan that fucking moron anyway so hopefully Masai MLSC you come to a conclusion I know you're still locked up for the rest of this year and next year so I'm not really going to get too concerned until this offseason then I'll worry if he doesn't get extended but tonight Raptors fans applaud Kawhi Kawhi deserves the applause he deserves all the praise in the world for bringing Raptors Raptors fans the championship and it's not only the championship ring that he brought Toronto look at the poise that the Raptors play with this year even all the young players that gain gain that experience not only in the playoffs but how to conduct themselves the work ethic on and off the court how to not get too emotional whether it's too happy or too low, like with the highs and lows of winning and losing throughout the season. They've had one three-game losing streak. It was their first one in over a year. Their defense is on point. Lowry and Abak, all this bullshit talk about how they're back and the Raptors, oh, they shouldn't have returned and blah, blah, blah. Fuck that nonsense. Give them time to reintegrate. The players got to readapt to their roles. It's going to take 10, 12 games probably before they get it all figured out. Unfortunately, it's a tough stretch of the season for Toronto, but who cares? They'll go out. They're still sitting in fifth place in the Eastern Conference. They have a chance to get a win over the Clippers, who have been struggling a little bit lately. Kawhi's knee a little little wonky or his thigh, whatever, whatever's been bugging him. He, he's looked a little, a little sluggish at times lately, but... You know, Kawhi's Kawhi, and, and we all know what he can do. He is probably the best player in the last year, last season for sure. And LeBron James, the best player I have ever seen play. What this man is doing at his age right now, the assists he's making, the dimes he's dropping, the points he still puts up, the rebounds, he's still played defense, block shots. Him and AD, if they stay healthy, oh my goodness, what a start the Lakers are off to. My only concern with them, like I said, at the start of the season is their health. That's my little basketball rant for today, talk for today, whatever. Peace.